this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. Thomas. That right. Thomas yeah. Angelo, sir. What well, this year's the Don's favorite Frank driver. Told me you ran into some so trouble. anything you gotta say to him, yes, you can say to me. My got smashed up there. Right. Right. Morello's thugs went after him. We ain't Tom leaving empty handed, that's for sure. Well then, maybe this, you uh, ain't leaving at all. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility. Okay, then. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan. Enough to get See that boys around. fixed up. Let's go, Lou. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. <laughs> What are we doing here? Thanks. I just want to shout. At least we get dope. To wreck Come on. Cat. Let's go say hi to the Don. <laughs> Don Silieri. You hear that, Frank? Yeah. The kid wants He's my permission hear about this. to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's girls hang out at a bar. Oh, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Some cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around. Born as hell. Or say you're not ready to come out on collections. What can you do? I don't yeah, look. What do you think I gotta do? Ricordi? Ah, uh, see, si. see. Si. Come back later with Polly or Sam. The bars are closed for you. I'm afraid. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go I see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy I'm lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Go. But we gotta go. Long drive back. Buongiorno, Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black bag. Hey, 
Beijing! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papali? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Hey, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, see, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Show sure, 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 up, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here is a crack deck. But you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. What do they call you? Morello. Thomas. The guy whose cars Thomas you got Andrew. a torch? He's got more friends on the Frank force than ran into some trouble? Well, we're okay. Yes, as long as we're careful. Smashed up pretty good. And I over our shoulder. After him the kind of time some of the this. Canadian whiskey that comes through? This, you uh, want a bottle? Text. Just ask. Keep some back for friends. Yes, sir. Ah, I'm no big drinker. Here. I used to tip back bathtub. In most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. For us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. It's a way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. Get on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. 
Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. If you're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. There's some lazy bastards. Put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. And the message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Key, go quiet. You know how to go quiet, Chops. Yeah, like that. He's got his big guys. We'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. Good at distracting. It's my best thing. Now, the boss got plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Hey, sir. Careful. As I get the money on that. Ah, he's good for it. No one else knows you here. What the hell you doing? So I tread careful. What I mean, what am I doing? Okay? I mean sure. what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? The boss what? finished yet? A guy who don't nah, know what you got more time to, to sit on your ass. ass. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Who's the new guy? Cabby. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? You cart the car? Nah, listen, you know, fella. Who are you? Easy. You know Dino? I hate sitting around. I know Born Dino. Hell. There was this one time where he's not like ready that. to come out on some red chinks. What can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Now let's get to these cars. Take it back and start swinging. I'm not gonna do it for you. Hey! Crap! Hey, get away from the car! Come get him! Knock him down, son! You got some kind of... Come on, Tom, quick! There's gonna be more of them! Use a Molotov and let's see some flames! Take out a bottle. Oh, blood. 
Clark heard that. We gotta go. Take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you. You got a good car? I'm gonna go away. Smash the window and we can... It's right here Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. All the way to the best way. Straight through the gate! We gotta get out of here before the bulls show! I so let's them. get away! They're shooting! Come back! Best it's a bad thing! Try! Pull this way. Take it to Benny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and the Don own since forever. What's he doing? Oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Keep looking. They'll turn up. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How would it feel? Feel good? Of what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. Think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. Busy days, there's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and think. Try careful, we don't need the attention. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a soup now, and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> Please watch the road! I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle. Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlos, pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. Plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. with a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey boss, 
It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all of that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I, I know? You, you Tommy? Come on, this yeah. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. <laughs> Here he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bill still do? 
and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carried a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Not a good posture, real mean. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some. And don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. For you. Let's feel it. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He's the... you, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And an afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Come on, Dita Tommy. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Have a good day, Fuffa fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad.
Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how... We protect you and little Julia without pain. You gonna take all day, Tommy? We got places we need to be. Where's the money? Ron, fetch him! Voi ci succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! I got it. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Hey Ralphie, I said. Tom sure can drive. No working after hours, cleaning up after me and Sam. <laughs> no chance of that, huh? <laughs> Guy who used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in. Each time you crash, you make little Ralphie cry. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in. What, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard, couldn't scrub it out.
This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And yeah, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot? I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here, it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it, too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. I'm happy to oblige.
Okay. There it is. Finally! Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Ah, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on.
Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how it read.